Hi there, hopefully you can see by now that one of the spelling mistakes or mutations in DNA that can lead to phenylketonuria is a substitution or a change from an arginine amino acid at a certain point in the chain at the 408th residue to a tryptophan amino acid. So you may be wondering, what makes this so harmful to the enzyme? What makes this cause the enzyme to lose its functionality? It's important for us to understand kind of the differences between arginine and tryptophan to recognize this. And you'll see them both on the board here. So we have arginine here on the left in the blue and then tryptophan in the black on the right. Straight away, you'll realize that they are quite different in their side chains. The side chains are these sections here from below, below there and below there. Arginine has a positively charged side chain, as you can see by this positively charged residue here. What does that mean? It means that it is attracted to negatively charged amino acids in other parts of the chain. Think about the way that a magnet sticks to a, a fridge. That is the kind of interaction that this positive charge will have with a negative charge earlier uh, in a different part of the chain. Contrastingly, the chain of tryptophan has no positive charge, so it will not interact the same with something of a negative charge. Alternatively, it is what we would call very hydrophobic, which means it doesn't like water. So what this will do is it will be drawn to spaces where it faces away from liquid surfaces so it can get away from water. So since these have very different properties, they will want to be near different amino acids and thus they will fold differently depending on which of these amino acids is at that position 408. And this is why the enzyme phenyl uh, phenylalanine hydroxylase is dysfunctional when there is a tryptophan there because the, the protein ultimately folds differently and this prevents it from being able to function normally.